a lot of times what people are doing is they're creating immobility instead of stability. So I got a model now. We'll go ahead and come on up here. If I have you just like do a lateral raise type motion for me. If he goes through this and he, let's see like, okay, he's got all this range of motion. And then let's, let's, let's use the term that should never ever be spoken. Let's use the lock it down. So I want you to push your scapula down for me. And now I want you to see what, see what we can go through, <laughs> right? So I had him create a bunch of tension around that scapula, which people would be like, stabilize the scapula, like lock it down, like pull it right, right? Well, all I've done is actually created immobility. In the, in the attempt of creating stability, a lot of people through poor rationale and what we call coloring book anatomy principles, create actual instability and immobility. When in reality, stability for this joint requires, we turn around here, always keep a spare scapula with you. This requires this motion, right? So at any given point in time, all of the structures around here have an optimal ability to stabilize that humerus. So depending on where the load is, this is going to adjust this way, this way, tipping to give it the best opportunity to stabilize that joint and act on the load. If I'm saying, no, you're going here, because if I just bolt you there, that's the most stable position. As soon as he starts moving this out of relationship with that, this joint is now actually more unstable because I am taking away the mechanical advantage of all the muscles that, you know, that control this, right? So people confuse stability with lack of motion in one particular portion of the body. We are meant to stabilize through motion, not in the absence of motion. It would be pretty stupid if, we, if our bodies had engineered themselves that the only way that we move is we completely fixate all of the body and then we move it like just this thing. Okay, now this can move, now this can move, like, but the whole rest of my body has to stay in like one fixed component the whole time. And that's where a lot of the logic for these like bracing and stabilization techniques is they're just about creating uh, immobility rather than actually adding stability, right? Stability comes in motion. As his shoulder moves, his stability requires the synchronization of all these tissues to be working together, to work in flow. And you're gonna find that once you actually start un like unlocking people's stuff and allowing them to move properly, their nervous system will figure it out. So you asked the question, thank you, you can have a seat. Um, you asked the question about people that aren't very neurologically efficient and body aware. When you have the setup right, the only thing they need to get better is practice. If the setup is not right, then you're, they're essentially practicing it wrong. And they will never, like, it'll be very hard for them to get better. And the, the improvement they may make actually might be getting better at doing something worse than what they were doing before. Like, it may not have looked pretty, but their body had a pretty good solution for that based off of their current strength and whatever programming they had. So we want to make sure our responsibility of coaches is that if we reprogram how somebody moves, how somebody braces, how somebody stabilizes, that it is an improvement upon whatever they're currently doing. The last thing that we want to do is take somebody who had something that we didn't, well, it doesn't look like the book, but it actually happened to be the most stable thing for their body. And then we're like, no, pull your elbow here and do this and this and this. And it's like, oh yeah, now that looks more like when this other person does it, but they have a totally different structure or whatever it may be. We've actually put them in a more compromised position. And we're basically teaching them to destabilize their body under load instead of stabilize their body under load.